Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Art Journal Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. And we officially filled the whole sketchbook with you guys. That's why I decided to share some ideas and ways how you can fill your own sketchbook if you are struggling with it yourself. On the first page, we created these easy watercolor plants and a quote. When you start a sketchbook, I wouldn't stress too much because as I noticed, we all struggle with similar things. For example, we don't want to ruin pages, we feel pressure to create art that looks totally perfect, but a sketchbook is a place to experiment and to play around with the tools you have. So if you start, choose something very simple. Maybe paint or draw flowers or something really simple in different ways and styles. It doesn't have to be something super complicated, start simple. On the next page, we created Zentangle art where we just created random lines and shapes that we colored in later. In this episode, I was talking about how I sometimes start talking to myself whenever I start thinking that something looks bad or that I ruined my art piece. And this simple idea is a great way to train yourself to stop thinking that just by doodling because even then these thoughts can come up. Just let go, have fun and remind yourself why you like being creative. Why did you start drawing or painting? Do you want to impress someone else or is it more about you and having fun doing what you enjoy doing? On the next page, we doodled a few cute cats in different positions because a lot of you guys requested more cat related things and I thought let's doodle some cats. This is also a great way to fill your sketchbook. You can doodle one specific thing in different styles or positions or you can create a collage of different things. This is a great exercise to practice doodling characters and if you're into decorating your bullet journal, you can create cute icons to draw inside your journal. We also created a mandala and we talked about how nothing is permanent. Sometimes we get so attached to what we create and that's totally understandable because we put so much time and work into our art. But sometimes this is one of the reasons why we want to create something that looks perfect that we stress so much about the end result without actually enjoying the process. So when you want to fill up your sketchbook, don't think about what amazing artwork you can collect over time in this book, but rather focus on enjoying it, even rediscovering your passion for art. I know you probably hear me say that over and over again, but it's important to remind yourself of that. Take time to play around with the supplies, play around with different techniques, Try different things you could draw or paint without overthinking everything. On the next page, we created this moon child painting that I wanted to make look like a tattoo because I really liked all the different designs I saw on Pinterest. So another idea is to come up with tattoo art. If you would like to get a tattoo for yourself, how would you want it to look like? And if it's not for you, what design would you create for your friend or just for a specific topic? It's a really fun way to think about a design and even thinking outside the box because there are so many tattoos you might have seen already so it's fun to come up with a cool design you might even want to use or sell someday. On the next page we did the realism challenge where I tried to copy the Sailor Moon watch and make it as realistic as possible. And this is another great idea to bring back the fun into painting and drawing. You can look up different art challenges on the internet such as the opposite hand challenge, blindfolded challenge or just using three different colors to paint something. The most important thing here again is that you have fun because we sometimes take art so seriously and we put so much pressure onto ourselves that we totally forget about that. So why not add a little bit of challenges that are fun into your sketchbook from time to time. On the next page, I showed you guys simple watercolor doodle ideas you can create. This is a great way to make your head think and get creative. You can either play around with different techniques or just create simple things like splashes, blobs or just simplify your painting by creating simple shapes. 
This way you are encouraged to get creative and to add new things to the painting. Since so many of you guys requested how to paint a sunset with watercolors, I showed you guys two different ways using pictures I took myself. And I found this was so relaxing and fun. If you have no idea what to paint, why not look into your phone or your albums to see if you can find beautiful pictures you took over time and maybe you'll find something you could paint as well. Or you can look up pictures on the internet and play around and paint different galaxies, planets, different sceneries or you create studies of clouds or something else. You don't always have to come up with something super original and paint something from your imagination. You can just paint something using a picture as a reference. That's totally fine guys. And if you still have no idea what to paint, you can just create random blobs and get creative. What can you see in these blobs? Does it remind you of something? This is a great way to train yourself to activate your brain to think creatively and to find ideas for what you can paint or draw. Remember that a sketchbook is a place for you to get creative, to play around, to experiment and to practice. Remember that a sketchbook is a safe place just for you and your art. You don't have to show it to anyone. And if you are struggling with the first page of your sketchbook as well because you tend to always skip it, I also have a great video for you guys where I share fun and easy ideas for your first page in your sketchbook that you can check it out right here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, it will mean a lot to me. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and to turn your notifications on to get notified whenever I upload a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!